What's up, y'all? Hey, it's ODM Blockout Boys. We are out here full effect, man. Jimmy Ray's his birthday. And you're wondering what the hell happened to your voice. Well, we just got off stage right now. Lighter Shade of Brown. We had to do our thing and open up for this beautiful lady, young lady, right next to me. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Trenere. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's, what's up, up everybody? <laughs> so many years in the game, decades. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, my God, people, decades. Well, I don't want to. I'm, but it's music. true, it's true, it's a fact. <laughs> and we grew up, hey, I'm a 70s baby, you know what I'm saying? I grew up 80s, bumping out here in Southern Cali, your music. As you know, California, how they embrace you out yeah, here. Shoot, you moved out here. I did. What does that say? Because of the love, and I was traveling back and forth every week. I used to live in Atlanta. Right. Well, I'm originally from Miami, left Miami, moved to Atlanta for seven years. And because of the travel back right. and forth to Cali, I said, oh my God, I just need to move. Right. Okay, because it's just way too I much. It. I was getting good now miles. You're, now you're experiencing the Cali oh, <laughs> traffic. Yes. I, I, I know <laughs> well, you're... you know I moved to Vegas. Right, for, for some time. I've been to Vegas for a year now. A year. Okay. It's okay. been a year. Oh, okay. And you were starting something up in Vegas, correct? Yes, yes. And is so that... I'm like back and forth okay. a lot, okay. every almost every week. So I'm like, yeah. okay, did I right, make the right move? Maybe I need to make it back to Cali. Being Cali. I mean, at least yeah. something, a little condo or something, yeah, man, on the yeah. beach or something. Yeah, yeah, have something. Do you yeah. like beaches? I love it. Well, you Miami know I'm girl, a beach hello. girl, yeah. Completely forgot. Always like, on the beach. The beaches out here compared to there, the water, man, is just night and day. The, yeah. the blue water, the Florida, yeah. except y'all got them hurricanes yeah. out there. I can't yeah, deal with yeah, that. no, no. And a lot of seaweed, but... Huntington Beach is the best. I love Huntington. You like HB? I love Huntington. Why? You know, by the pier and the dog beach. Yeah. So I grew up on Huntington Beach. I'm I an OC boy. Huntington. And it's right there. Boogie boarding. Yeah. The pier, all yeah. that stuff. They got a nice little donut shop, little coffee shop oh, around yeah. the way. That's my, I love it there. And they got a bar out there, you know, for the summertime. <laughs> so I don't know if you know if you're willing to, you know, you don't, you name a drinker though, right? Yes, yeah. Here or there? Yeah. Celebrations? <laughs> like Jimmy Ray's birthday is a celebration? No, not that deep. Not that but, jacket. yeah, I do a little something. Okay, I see this jacket on. You ain't got like a flask on in here, do you or something? No, 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 but I, I have something. Can we just... <laughs> <laughs> I got something. I will cut you if you keep touching my jacket. Let's. Can we get the outfit, though, real quick? Oh, though? Yeah, can, yeah. can we just, you know, for the ladies out there and the fellas, uh, just the door. Man, she is it's always... It's cold, so I, I had to take out the jacket just a little bit. And I have to admit something. This is probably my bad. When I grew up, listen, A's, I would always get Trenier and Debbie Depp's music confused. Is that the first time you heard that? Or no, that because just we're me? from the same... Um, producer same recording house uh, pretty tony produced her pretty tony produced me okay and actually i got with the record company because i heard lookout weekend and went out her music and so when they said oh you sold you know pretty tony and right. our company i'm like no i don't but then when they mentioned those songs i was like oh yeah i do know yeah and so um so you came your, your records came after then yeah then came all right i'm trying to follow Debbie. the timeline here. yeah and a lot of people don't remember that she came out before me okay. like a year before me yeah and so um same producer same recording house and that's the only reason why i got with tony because i knew of those two songs i gotcha. said okay those are hits i want some hits <laughs> so, you, so, so you jumped in with tony what was the first uh, record the produced? first one was actually um we recorded i know you love me first mm. but that wasn't the first hit all night was the second song I recorded, right. and All Night was the one that took off. That was the one that first. was huge in Where You From, right? Yes, All Night, with the one with the wind blowing, and then we re-released I Know You Love Me, then they're playing our song came, then How Can We Be Wrong, then I Keep Going On and On. Good. Oh, yeah. So just name the slappers. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you Google it. You know what I'm saying? They're playing our song. Look at that. Did you want me to keep going? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Don't stop, get it, can't, get it, don't. Can't get enough, stay hold on, hold in love on. with me, can't stop the beat, hello. <laughs> Y'all better quit playing, man. Hey, legend, she just keeps going on. Now, there's a point where you stop singing for a minute I did for and touring. Years. And uh, I know the story, but I want you to tell it. Like, what was the break years. about? Okay, so that was in, my son was three years old, so this was like in 92. Um, I just went through this, a very dark, very, very dark um, period. Okay. Very dark. We've all been there. <laughs> and so in order for me to live, I had to kind of change paths. And 
I went on this serious spiritual hiatus. Okay. Because I almost died. I really did have like a life and death experience. Mm. And so um, I did my last tour in Brazil. I did like 30 shows in Brazil. And then that's when I said, okay, I'm done. And I just kind of committed myself to God and ministering and, you know, doing the work of the Lord for like 14 years. Yeah. But I needed to do that so I can raise my son, so yes. my son could be okay, I could be okay. And, um, yeah, I had to leave the music for a minute. But then when I was okay, I divorced my crazy pastor husband. And then, oh, okay. So yeah. your husband was a pastor. And then, yeah. Hey, and then, then Iron sharpens iron, baby. Let's go. Yeah, that's right. And so um, Alan Beck from um, Pacific Concert Group. Shout out to Alan Beck, man. He booked yes. us on many tours. Yep. Him and, well, mostly uh, it was Stevie B. Stevie, because we were really good friends, him and my agent, Amanda, kept calling me, Trinia, are you ready to get back out on the road? I'm like, no, no, I can't. I'm not ready. I'm still, you know, I'm not, I'm not ready. I heard Stevie used to hound you. He did. Like, he used to call me, Trinia, Jesus ain't going to be mad at you, girl. <laughs> we need you back out here on these shows, girl. Was that it? Was that, was that the, the, the trigger that said, Well, okay. no, he, he happened to call me on the right day. Gotcha. He called me at the right day, the right moment. And you were ready. I was ready. I got divorced. I was like, okay, I'm ready to rock and roll. And Alan was like, all right, let's do the work. So yes. I got out there and I had to build myself back up, though. You know, Absolutely. Because it was so long. It was 14 years. Yeah, but don't you, when you hit the stage, like it's kind of yeah, like you never left, Yeah, the first time right? I got on stage, it was like I had never left yeah. before. The crowd was amazing. Um, it was just amazing i just stepped right back into it and and your fans uh, just embraced it like they yeah. did you know and 14 it's been years history ago ever since and so and now you just I, I read somewhere or i saw somewhere where you just um you haven't put out any new music and no. now and and i know that I, I i feel you on that because it's like years go by and it's like all right what do i get in the studio what do i sing about people already know what i'm known for your fans some of the fans want it yeah. um but it's like you you have to be ready mentally yeah. you have yeah. to be ready like especially the climate the way the music yeah. is today right and especially with the producer um like i can pick up the phone tomorrow and call pretty tony because he's my son's father and i get back in the studio with him pretty tony what yeah you Pre know that um, gigolo <laughs> tony am i the right tony is that the right to oh, gigolo gigolo, tony. No. To oh i got the i'm sorry i got the wrong miami bass rappers no my, my pretty tony butler tony okay. butler That's he never had a record like uh, his own record then, Yes, right? he had Jam the Box, uh, Fix It in the Mix. Um, shoot me, take my hip-hop card right <laughs> now, Jam the Box, y'all. I used to fix freak. Fix it in the mix. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's Tony. Yeah, so if I needed to record something, I really can get with him. Sure. But we've just been on different roads and paths spiritually, what, too. What about your son? My son is an amazing and producer, and he has so many tracks on me, but I'm so picky. I'm just so picky, and, and he's just like, Mom, just pick one, and let's go. But I, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Yes. Everything has to be lined up perfectly. I don't want to just put out music yes. just to say I'm putting out music on all digital platforms. Right. Okay? But yeah, yeah, yeah. At this age, I feel like when I do it, it has to really mean something. It has to be all the ducks have to be lined up in a row because I'm just really... I think what it is, I, I thought about this Excuse the other me, you're day. on your shit is what it is. I thought about it the other day because <laughs> I've recorded so much music. Like I have a whole R&B album that wasn't appreciated or released properly. And I think that was my best music. I just, I'm just not in that mood to put all that energy, work, time, money into something and it goes nowhere. Right. Because I've already done that. Right. And I have hits on top of hits yes i have hits in brazil that they don't play here so i'm like do i want to do that again you know i don't trust the music business anymore right right all the the streams i just think they rob the artists and i'm not in the mood to be robbed at 60 right i'm really not i'm just trying to get other things lined up so i can retire right and, you know i'd rather put my money and energy in some other real business and flow there you go is that what you went out to vegas for yeah <laughs> Because I heard little birdie he said, talking about it. I already know. I is is that, has that come, come to light yet? Or uh, did, did We're I miss working the on it. We have to tweak it Girl, and make a few changes. I cannot wait. <laughs> Watch out. I'm guessing it because I'm allowed yeah, to guess. I'm, that, I'm guessing there's just, a residency or some type of yeah, her that's artist. Just one. That's her just one. I'm telling you. Yeah. Right. Some major queens, some really beautiful, great artists that I respect. 
and I brought us all together. But that's not the only thing. I'm doing some other stuff outside of music. Yeah. You want to share? No. Oh, not yet. damn it. What about we the can't record? Tell everything. What about the record you did with your diva friend? Are you were supposed to do oh, that? Did that drop? Sapphire. You can say it now because I saw it somewhere. You, you didn't say. Oh yeah, it. yeah. No, we're doing something. This song okay. is hot. Oh, it's not out yet. No, we're releasing it. We have to do a video and stuff. So okay. I have to fly back to New York. Uh, I'm supposed to go in March, and yeah, that's right. going to be hot. Well, I'm, I'm just so happy that there's new, there's newer stuff coming out because somewhere yeah. we, we could take as many breaks as we want, but yeah. that little light is always in there. That little no light matter of what. mine. Yep, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> hey, yo. Trinaire in the building. She's about to take the stage right yes. now. I want to thank you so much. Have a kill, thank kick you, ass you, show, you. man. And thank you for taking the time. Oh, all right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. All love, baby. Thank, thank you thank so you. much. Trinaire, y'all, on the block out. <laughs>